good morning wish you all a happy new year this video comes from i fluids engineering to share the basics of petroleum sector with the students community and those who are looking for a career in petroleum industry as the journey of petroleum i am jay rai senior process design and technical safety consultant in i fluids engineering I am having 37 plus years of experience in petroleum refining industry. In this discussion, we will discuss about energy, scientific approaches, fossil fuel, exploration and conditioning of crude oil. Since the human race emerged, mankind is always moving in search of energy. always energy is the prime mover for everything nature is the primary source of energy even today and in the historical period also solar energy wind energy hydropower geothermal energy are being widely used man identified fire is a powerful tool for their uses since paleolithic period that is the period considered as 3.6 million years bc to 40000 years bc in those period itself human find found the uses of fire and he also identified a way to create fire by using flint stone he used the fire for cooking preservation of food protecting protecting from wild animals as well as from enemies also so this was the first kind of energy generated in a controlled manner we can say in the scientific invention it is considered wheel is the first scientific invention considered as a first scientific invention potter wheel was used in mesopotamia that is the present iraq in 3500 years bc to move the big objects which are in square or rectangular or unshaped uneven shaped objects man found it was very difficult to move they found when a heavy object was rolled over wooden logs it was easy rather than carrying the same so there comes the first mechanical efficiency in working energy was always present we don't invent or create energy as first law of thermodynamics says energy is neither be created nor destroyed we can say as energy are there in two major forms which are potential energy and kinetic energy potential energy refers to the energy which an object holds due to its position relative to other objects kinetic energy is the measure of the work that an object does by virtue of its motion we all know need and wants are the major driving force for innovative thinking need is the mother of invention there is a proverb aristotle greek philosopher said human being is by nature a social animal human being cannot live in isolation to be social his needs and wants are keep on increasing that motivates the human being in search of energy there the journey to find alternative energy continues from the basic needs of food cloth and shelter the aspiring human race keeps searching for easy migration transportation industrialization to move the army arms and ammunition to market the product of agriculture etc in shorter time the growth of any country is today the growth of any country is determined based on the consumption of their energy level 
fuel is the base for energy and today's world fossil fuel is the mostly used fuel almost by all countries our country india ranked as the fourth largest petroleum consumer in the world following china the united states and the russia india's energy demand continues to climb or grow as a result of its economic growth and modernization india's consumption of petroleum products increased by 5.3% compared with the previous year which is more than 200000 tons the crude oil is a black thick liquid today we call it a liquid gold is from earth was used for leak proofing under water tank bunds in the historical period particularly in china it was used to arrest leak in the tanks and bunds when it is available or it emerge in the earth surface the same liquid was transported using bamboo poles as pipelines to use as fuel in china in the 4th century bc however canal drake's invention of oil in 1859 at pennsylvania had been the revolution in energy that is crude oil before canal drake's invention the oil wells were digged as a open well the problem in that was when they go deeper because of the loose soil the well got closed by itself by the pressure of the earth surface because of that oil well digging was not that much successful when canal drake started his work for a oil industry he invented instead of digging a open well if we provide a pipe as a casing pipe it's presently used in today's well also the casing pipe is being used that is the contribution of canal drake so he was the first man to insert a casing pipe to protect the oil well or the bore to get closed because of the earth surface pressure in 1859 he invented this at the same time coal was widely used in industries because of that heavy smoke was engulfing the living area of the nearby industry for that a wide spread of agitation was there particularly it was led by women so there was a pressure to find a alternative fuel so all this has contributed to invent crude oil exploration in a efficient manner we will see the history of crude oil it is considered as marine animals and plants that died millions of years ago sent to the sunk to the seabed or ocean floor where they decomposed and mixed with the sand and silt years going on and the further silt sand everything settle on the buried sea animals because of the depth of the or the column of the silt settled high pressure and high temperature generated and due to this the biological activities of microorganism started and the buried organisms converted to oil crude oil or petroleum collects in the cracks and gaps of porous rock and rises towards the surface until it reaches an impermeable rock formation called reservoir rock there is that impermeable rock that rock should act as a seal to restrict the flow of gas or oil collected in that zone unless a impermeable rock is found in that zone oil will keep on traveling in the cracks and it will be widely spread there will not be 
a reservoir to collect it oil was not invented actually it surfaced to show its existence in many places across the globe and by that only in those days it was identified later on after its usage was understood searching for oil to explore gain momentum worldwide rocks that bear the organic layers are called sedimentary rocks several kilometers below the earth surface organic sediments are decayed biologically to a mass known as kerogen the temperature of earth increases with the depth when you go deeper and deeper downwards for each and every kilometer approximately 30 degree centigrade temperature is rising in earth so at the depth of 4 to 5 km the temperature would be around 120 to 150 degree centigrade at this temperature the kerogen is converted to hydrocarbon oil oil and gas migrate to areas or traps that have structure favorable for storing oil and gas that is called as source rock and anticline or domed or faulted area having oil and gas trapped in a porous rocky area converted by covered by impermeable rock that is reservoir or basin selection of drilling site so from the biological microorganism activity we understand that oil sources are there at multi locations under the ground but where are they actually located that we have to find otherwise economically exploration will not be a viable operation so hydrocarbon source was determined by observing seepage of oil and gas from the surface by visual appearance of vegetation and floating of oil layer on water body in ancient days oil fields were discovered by these observations only Modern exploration techniques use different methods. Geophysical methods in this by sending signals into earth and measure the time it takes to get captured in the receivers. The duration of the traveling of the signal is the input for identify the nature of the rock available and based on, based on that the geologist scientist come to a conclusion whether possibility for oil sources are there or not for this gravimetric magnetometric seismic radioactive and stratigraphic studies of the surface to collect data in geochemical methods chemical analysis of the surface oil and rocks are carried out in geotechnical methods mechanical properties of rocks and surface are measured we will discuss about seismic survey seismic survey is the one of the method being used to identify the oil resources we all know the bird bat the bat generates a sound it's each call of a bat species is a broadband signal that sweeps through frequencies from 14 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz we all know that human being audible range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz whereas bat can generate 14 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz the duration of a call given by a bat will be 0.2 to 100 milliseconds after the call listening for the echo of the call that is it is waiting to receive the signal which is then processed in real time creating a mental image of the surroundings in the bat's brain to locate its prey Geological surveys often begins with the review of large and small scale maps to the region along with any reports written about specific area of interest. Satellite imagery of the region in question is also studied. The advancement of sees seismic technology has helped to narrow down the area where reliable oil source is available. This has helped to improve the oil exploration. In the seismic survey, they use a truck called as a vibrator. Seismic survey begins with the review of mass and maps and satellite images of the region. 
Seismic survey is a method used during the exploration phase of oil and gas development. Energy produced by instruments such as seismic vibrator or land releases seismic waves that go through the earth's layers and bounce back from different rock, rock layers. The reflected and refracted seismic waves are recorded by a receiver that is geophone and if it is tested in water body that is in sea it is called as hydrophones in water and give the first image of the surface. The interpretation of data indicates that what is underneath the ground or seabed without actually doing the drill that is the potential source of oil can be identified by this. We can classi classify the oil reserves as proven, probable and possible reserves. Proven reserves are worth for economic exploitation that is we have abundant oil under that area. Whereas probable reserve has certain degree of probability that is 50%, 50-50 we can say probability for economic exploitation. Possible reserve has very little probability for economic exploitation that is more amount of water will be there whereas oil and gas will be less. Like this oil wells can also be classified that in stage 1 well is called as a baby well in which production is gradually raising it is in raising trend and reaches its maximum. Stage 2 is the young well which produces the oil at the maximum rate. Stage 3 is the middle aged well when production starts decreasing from the maximum rate. And stage 4 is the old oil well while production is very low may not be economic to continue the operation. Oil, gas and water in the reservoir are present in the interstices of the porous rock simultaneously. This water in the pores is called connate water or interstyle water. Connate means uh, there is something is attached in original form. How the drilling operation takes place? In the seismic survey they identify the potential location then we have to do the drilling. Drilling is done by a hollow steel pipe fitted with the drill bit having perforation at its mouth is used for drilling. That is, this is the drill bit. You can see, refer the drawing here. When you drill, the earth being removed from the drill bit and the drill pipe will come out that is called as a mud. And the mud is collected in a mud pit. Mud fluid is again it is pumped through the powerful pumps through a flexible hose into the drill pipe. The purpose of this is to act as a lubricant for the drill bit as well as to clean the well. The drill pipe and the hose are suspended from the crown of a pyramid structure called a rig. That is the top portion is the crown block and the entire structure is a derrick kind of thing. Continuous well logging is then carried out using a modern system. Logging means collecting data using electronic devices in later latest uh, technology. All kind of electronic devices are used to collect data from the well in which the drilling operation is going on that is called as logging. A casing pipe is inserted that is a steel pipe it is otherwise called as a casing string is introduced into the hole to protect the inner wall. That was the invention already we discussed by Canal Drake. So that pipe his invention is today also it is being used. The casing string is cemented to the wall of the hole by pumping a fast setting cement otherwise the hole may get damaged. To avoid that the casing pipe is cemented along with the inner wall of the hole that is the drill bore. After drilling is over on the bell head a well completion process we have to do. 
well completion process is for two purpose one is to keep the well under safe condition and to take oil from the well in a controlled manner for this well completion is an important activity after drilling well completion is the process of making a well ready for production after drilling operation the well head connection consists of a tubing header and a christmas tree header the wall num many walls assembled in a way to look like a christmas tree that's why it's called as a christmas tree for collection of oil gas and water to the separated tanks here these two walls are called as master walls the bottom one is lower master wall and the upper one is the upper master wall mostly the upper master wall will be a automatic operator wall and the bottom one will be a manual wall the right side this is the production wing wall so the production wing wall is the source for collecting oil to the production area production storage area and this is a choke this is called a choke this choke is nothing but to control the flow of the oil and it, if it doesn't require we can close that also using the choke as well as with the production wing wall just opposite to the production wall or at 180 degree angle of the production wing wall a wall is there is known as king kill wing wall kill wall wing wall is used to inject some fluid like corrosion inhibitor and other fluids for treatment of the inner bore and the top one is the swab wall the swab wall is useful to inject or inspect the drill hole by opening this and the top tree cap is uh, cap or gauge gauge is a provision for giving or reading the pressure in the well we discuss about the kill wing wall the production wing wall and this swab wall and this drawing depicts the arrangements in a number of wells and the lines this unpainted line is the oil production line so production to bring the oil from the bore to the surface there are lot of technologies are being used one is a gas lift method in this they admit some gas mostly inert gas nitrogen or carbon dioxide or something like that they inject at high pressure into the well so that they create pressure inside the well to flow the oil to the surface area to the well head next step is sucker rod lift there is the well contains a piston or a plunger this is called as a piston this pump or plunger lowered into the inner tubing the piston is operated by a metallic wire or rod leading through the tubing and above the well head and connected to a wire rope from a hanger attached to a reciprocating driving system this is the reciprocating driving system this portion is called as horse head when it moves up and down it looks like a horse head that that would be the reason to call it as a horse head and these are the parts of the sucker rod pump or beam pump and inside this casing arrangement is given and in between the casing and the inner wall of the bore it is sealed by cement to avoid collapse of the bore and the center pipe is the tubing and this rod is a sucker rod this is a pump and here oil and sand is there next one is a progressive cavity pump that is a self priming rotary positive displacement pump likewise electrical submersible pump system also there there is motor and the pump are in down hole down hole means inside the bore submerged in the well fluid at the end of the tubing you can compare the sucker rod pump that is the plunger moves up and down to bring the oil to the surface area from there we can collect it through the production wing ball 
so you can compare this arrangement with a common pump normally the hand pump we used to call it as a hand pump and still it is being in use usage in many places how the hand pump works see like this only there is a you can call this as a sucker rod and this is a plunger these two are the valves and you can say this is the horse head or the mechanism to move the rod so it is absolutely comparable with a sucker rod pump and this is the way that beam pump also works just for a comparison i showed this once you take the oil to the surface then you are not, cannot you cannot uh, store the oil immediately as it comes because it contains lot of lighterns like gases uh, c1 that is methane gas is there so the vapor pressure will be very high so when vapor pressure goes very high you cannot store in atmospheric storage tank because of lot of evaporation will be there that evaporation loss will be very high and it will also lead to a great pollution so the crude oil should be conditioned to such a way to store in normal atmospheric storage tank as well as to use the normal transportation methods by tankers like there is ships or by pipelines so there are three stages of separation of the crude oil in the first stage it operates under 3 to 5 mega pascal pressure you all know that 1 mega pascal equal to 10.1972 kg per centimeter square so you compare the pressure and the inlet temperature is around 100 to 150 degree celsius water content is typically less than 5% so here we have to remove the gas phase oil phase as well as water phase the two phase flow gas and liquid in the liquid oil and water are there so if the inlet goes inside there is one slug catcher slug catcher is nothing but catching a bigger size gas bubble as well as any particles and this passes through the slug catcher coming inside by density difference gas is moving upward to avoid entrainment of liquid one demister pad is there and the density in the density difference difference oil is floating and a overflow wear is there that oil overflows this side and it is taken out as oil and water is collected from this side this is the one being used in the first stage separator in the second stage separator in addition to the high pressure oil comes into that separator it also receives production from wells connected to the low pressure manifold so pressure is around 1 mega pascal that is in the first stage it was 3 to 5 mega pascal here it is 1 that is pressure is around 10.19 kg and temperature around 100 degree centigrade here the water is segregated and the outlet oil oil will have at less than 2% of water only then it goes to a final separator or third stage separator here almost there will be no gas only oil will be going so here pressure is drastically reduced so that the crude oil flashed so the pressure is around 100 kilo pascal so the gas free oil is coming out in a separate collector and water we can collect in the separate collector this oil is stored in atmospheric storage tanks in the oil well area the crude oil what we produce should be characterized it can be characterized in by many factors like k factor based on sulfur based on ap degree so based on sulfur it is called as a sweet crude and sour crude if the sulfur content of the crude is less than 0.5% then it is called as a sweet crude why it is sweet crude there is treating of the product so the crude when crude oil contains sulfur we use the crude oil to produce various products from lpg to asphalt all products we are producing so in this product also according to its boiling range this sulfur component will reflect whereas 
the industry has the mandatory requirement to meet the specification for sulfur a stringent sulfur specifications are being maintained in bharat's six stage specification that and all we will discuss in a later part so here when the sulfur content is less the treating process cost of treating process also will be less so it is considered as a sweet crude crude contains more than 0.5 sulfur by weight only more than 0.5% sulfur is called as a sour crude in another way of classification is based on degree api that is american petroleum institution to define crude oil in its specific gravity a api unit has been given it is nothing but 141 0.5 divided by specific gravity of the oil minus 131.5 the main purpose of having a api day degree using this random number are to have a whole number for specific gravity otherwise the density of oil is less than 1 compared with water so it will be a big fraction always to have a whole number only this api degree is introduced and api by virtue of its uh, formula it has no unit even then it is widely used as degree api only when the oil degree api is 33 to 40 degree api it is considered as a light crude oil that is lighter ends will be more 22 to 33 degree api is considered as a medium and less than 22 degree api is a heavy crude you please note when the api numbers degree numbers increases crude becomes lighter that point you should note crude oil production in the year 2021 22 in india was 30.84149 million metric ton so this much of crude oil we are producing i hope you all know in india first crude oil well was drilled in assam the place known as digboy there is a history for it during british period the british rulers found a lot of elements traveling through the forest was having some kind of black slushy material on it first they thought it so it was mud later on when they specifically noticed it it contains a lubricity kind of thing so then they identified it is nothing but crude oil so in the year 1889 in the assam region at one particular place they for traced back the footprints of the elephants and they reached a spot where they found oil was floating on the surface itself so they started to dig a well the british people commanded the worker to, as dig boy dig dig like that they commanded so that's why the place name is called as dig boy a history or a story is being told like that also in india there are 23 crude oil refineries in india of which 18 are state owned and 3 are privately owned and 2 are jv that is joint ventures the total refining capacity in india is 248.87 million metric ton per annum the total consumption of crude oil in india is 221.77 million metric ton there is a gap between the capacity and the crude availability crude consumption so potential for the petroleum refinery not only petroleum refinery the petroleum based industries are wide and in future definitely it will grow only because every day 6000 different kind of products are being produced using petroleum as a base stock thank you all for your patience listening thank you